Hey everybody, Dwayne Moreno, some dogs barking in the background going for my morning walk, about 50 yards from my house, my southern house, and I want to talk about, uh, about a couple of things. Some guiding principles that have really, really served me well. The first one is, things are happening for you and not to you. And the second one, nothing has any meaning except the meaning or meanings you choose to give it. Let me give you three scenarios in my life where those have paid me back in, in spades. The first one, in my early 20s, I was working corporate and working under a couple of people that really were, there's no other way to say it, despicable human beings. They had smelt my vulnerability, lack of confidence. I'd just gotten married. I'd not yet graduated from university. I'd just taken on a 14 and three quarter percent mortgage, trying to start my life. And I was going through a lot of stuff. And rather than support me or prop me up, they pushed me down and took full advantage of that in a lot of ways. And that abusive situation went on for three years before I made myself a promise. And that promise was to never rely on people like that again for my livelihood, for myself, for the sake of my family, and to man up and skill up in such a way that I was gonna go the, the complete opposite side of that spectrum of total and complete independence on myself. And you know what, it works. So I really thank them for doing that because I could have seen myself getting pretty comfortable in that corporate job and it didn't go that way, but I took some important lessons, leveraged them and moved on. Here's the second life scenario. A few years later, I had some partnerships in the training and software business and both of those, both of those partnerships blew up at the exact same time. I was contractually, uh, you know, not very smart, hadn't read everything. I was naive and trusting because I thought, you know, nobody would ever do that kind of stuff to anybody because I wouldn't. But just because I wouldn't do something doesn't mean somebody else wouldn't. So losing a little bit of money, having them owe me a little bit of money, here was a lesson I got from that. Never make the banks or the government your business partner. Because yes, I could you know lay blame on them for a few things, but I would have been really you know in a bad situation had I not been able to rebound so quickly with my own skill level. And had the banks or the government called in their loans, I was trying to expand myself, took on additional debt, taken some grants, those guys always win that street fight. And here's where this ends up. March of 2020, out of nowhere, my live training business died and I've had to emotionally bury it. Now, is it coming back? Perhaps, but I don't think it's ever gonna come back in the way that it was. My, my passion was getting in front of 50 to 200 people. Um, and in Canada, for lots of reasons, that's a long way away. And I don't think it's ever gonna quite come back to where it was. I was doing a dealership training, you know, live streams, online training my Toronto Academy and all that's still going on. I will still be doing most of that, especially the big regional events, five or six this year we have planned, as well as you know some workshops in my Toronto office and definitely live streams of Marino TV. But here's where uh, this really paid off. Had I not learned those lessons I just described, very clear lessons when I was younger, when COVID hit, if the banks or the government were a business partner, if I was over leveraged in any way, had I not had multiple sources of cash flow and an asset base and a skill base and a customer base and relationships, you know, relationships all the way into other countries at that point in my life, it really could have been different for me, not just financially, but psychologically and emotionally. That really was where I struggled with that because I just could not get my head around after 30 years of building up a business like that. You know, I could go into Costco, have a thousand people shoulder to shoulder, but following the strictest possible protocols you could imagine, I couldn't have five people in front of me for over a year. So I waited for that bus. I waited for that bus. I waited for that bus. And then I pivoted hard. And now we're back bigger and better and stronger than ever. And the types of people and the things I'm doing now, it's mind blowing to me. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to have this impact in so many different ways now on two different continents. And, and, and it's, it's, it's crazy to me. So we just keep getting better, stronger and faster, hopefully. I really want you to pay attention to what's happening for you and what the meanings are because here's uh, just one quick close off. You know, in managing people, right? Sometimes you get into situations and conflicts and all kinds of stuff, right? That people need a little bit of uh, uh, support or a directional change. Let's say you're having a problem with your job or your boss. Here's what you could do. You could imagine everything's happening to you. Play the victim. Okay, yeah, sure, play the victim, why not? And then you could attach these possible meanings. He's terrible. I should have stayed in school. I need to quit. This isn't for me. Or maybe there's some lessons in here on how I can become better and how I can grow and how I can work with this to benefit myself, that individual, and the organization 
have some trust and faith, show up, play hard every day, and see where it goes. My friends, depending on what meaning you attach to that situation, you hopefully can see you've got a very clear directional change in your life. Anyways, I'm Dwayne. Take care, happy selling, and we will see you someplace soon.